Andrew Allegretti here for Hokiesports.com, now joined by the defensive line coach, Coach Wiles. All right, where's the defensive line right now? What are you looking at? What do you like? Well, I'll tell you, I like how competitive we've been in practice. Um, you know, we're repping three groups. Uh, the kids have really been practicing hard. That's why one reason we gave them a day off yesterday. We're doing a lot of good on good, getting the speed of the game, getting all the, the different shifts and changes that our offense brings to the table. And it's been it's been a very good camp. I'm excited about our room, excited about the experience and, and the youth. You know, the kids, uh, you can see a difference in, in, in the spring and where we are right now. All right, a lot of people have talked about the youth and the depth of your group, specifically at defensive tackle. Where does that stand right now? Well, I think we're still in the middle of an evaluation. Um, Nigel, Chris Harley, Austin Smith, Woody Barron, those are all kids in the battle. We moved Corey Marshall to defensive tackle, which was a, you know, showed exactly where he is mentally. I mean, he wanted to do what was best for our football team. And, um, you know, if it was best for our team, Corey wanted to do it. And so by mo him moving down to defensive tackle, it allowed us to, um, you know, get our top eight guys on the field. We're still trying to figure out that top eight right now. You know, obviously James Gale, you know, Daddy Nicholas, JR, uh, but he's going to be in that top four defensive tackle. Woody has improved, Austin's improved. I really like what they did the other night, uh, Nigel, uh, in the 35 play scrimmage with the younger guys, kind of third team guys and down or, you know, and uh, we played with better technique, better fundamentals. Uh, we played faster, more physical. You can tell the summer what Coach Gentry, you know, what he's been able to do with them. I mean, these kids are all redshirt freshmen, excluding, excluding so what it's Chris like Harley. He's a leverage. sophomore. Feel what it's but you like got redshirt freshman, redshirt freshman, true freshman. So defensive tackle is a position. Normally, you're, you're not counting on that much youth, you know, at that position. So, but I, I'm, I'm excited about it. You know, they're getting better. Right, one last question for you, and then you can probably get to that phone call that just went off yeah. in the background. Uh, you talked about maybe not getting a ton of playing time out of the younger players at the defensive tackle position. That leads me to Wyatt Teller. Fans want to know about him. How does he stand? I right think now? Wyatt's a, you know, Wyatt's a heck of a prospect. You know, he ran 5'1 high, so 5'2, he's 6'5, he's 280 pounds, uh, athletic at his 10 yard. I mean, he was, he can change direction. You know, right now he, he's, he's behind those other guys just from a technique, fundamental, and all the defenses that we're putting in. I mean, he's got, you know, his head spinning a little bit, but I see, you know, he gets reps in individual, he gets reps in pass rush and different little drills that we do. And as I've coached him, I see improvement. So I know he's going to be a guy who's going to be able, he needs a spring. He'll, you know, and, and he'll be a guy that'll chip into this, this deal probably in a year. But I think a very, very good prospect. Glad he's here.